Wohin fahren Sie? Wohin fährst du? Where to do you drive? So, wohin, where to? So, where are you going? Z is the formal form. Do is the informal singular. Notice that there is a stem vowel change in fahren. Wie komme ich zur Stadtmitte? Stadtmitte is city center, downtown, or the center of the city. Wie komme ich zur? Zur comes from zu der. The word is die Stadtmitte, but because zu is a dative preposition, the D becomes der. Zu der, as a contraction, or a prepositional contraction, zur. Können Sie mir sagen, wo ist? Can you tell me where blank is? Können Sie mir sagen, wo die Kirche ist? Can you tell me where the church is? Können Sie mir sagen, wo die Schule ist? Can you tell me where the school is? Können Sie mir sagen, wo das Kaufhaus ist? Can you tell me where the department store is? Wo ist? Where is? So, wohin? Where to? Wo, where? So, wohin, you're talking about direction, like you're going there. Wo is where it's located. Where is it at? Location. Geradeaus. Straight ahead. Gehen Sie geradeaus. Gehen Sie immer geradeaus. Just keep going. Straight ahead. Literally, always. Gehen Sie geradeaus bis zur Post. Once again, another zu der. Die Post becoming der because it's Zu is dative. So go straight ahead until the post office. Gehen Sie geradeaus until the post office. How else you might answer those questions? Abbiegen. Abbiegen is a separable prefix verb, meaning the prefix ab goes to the end of the sentence, and you'll conjugate begin. So, to turn. Begin sie rex ab. Notice the separable prefix verb. So, turn right. Begin sie links ab. Turn left. Ab begin to turn. Bis zum or zur. This has to do with the fact that zu is a dative. And since it's dative, you're going to have to make sure that you have um, the article of the noun that this precedes change. So bis zur Ampel. Right? So until the light. Gehen Sie bis zur Ampel und dann links. So go to the traffic light and then left. Bis zum Kino, until the movie theater or cinema. So, Ampo was feminine. That's why it became Zur. Kino was Das Kino, which is neuter. That's why it became Zum. So, you can tell someone to go to a certain location, usually a um, building of some kind. Or you could say street. Zurück, go back. Gehen Sie zurück, go back. So a little different than going to <laughs> keep going forward. Geradeaus, but maybe they've passed it, so go back. 
entlang, along. Gehen Sie diese Straße entlang. Go along this street. Oder fahren Sie diese Straße entlang. So if you're in a vehicle, fahren. If you're walking, gehen. Vorbeigehen, another separable prefix verb. Here's our prefix. Vorbeigehen. Gehen Sie am Museum vorbei. So, go past the museum. Vorbei, to go past it. Separable prefix verb. Gehen Sie an der Kirche vorbei. Go past the church. Um, these take the dative as well. Gehen Sie am Kino vorbei. Go past the cinema or movie theater. Always popular German noun, die Ecke. One of the first things I learned in German. Ich wohne gleich um die Ecke. Which isn't true, but it was a phrase I learned. I live around the corner, right around the corner. Das Kaufhaus ist gleich um die Ecke. So gleich is immediately or right. So immediately, directly. Around the corner. Around is an accusative preposition. So this will take the accusative case. Die Ecke. An der nächsten Ecke sehen Sie das Kaufhaus. Um, on the next corner, you'll see the department store. And then die Seite, side. If you're studying German, you've also heard die Seite for page number, right? So a page, but a side. So Auf der linken Seite, on the left side, auf der rechten Seite, on the right side. So maybe you're talking about a street. So is it on the left side or the right side? 